I'm a fairly new anime fan, I won't lie about that. Up until 2020, I had only seen Naruto, Naruto Shippuden, Cowboy Bebop, Neon Genesis Evangelion, and the Bakugan reboot. Look, as a fan of the first four original seasons now over 10 years ago, I had to see if it was okay. Uh, but spoiler, it's not. Now, for most people who know me, they know I'm a bit of a music nerd. I love lists, discussing them, setting criteria, picking spots from something so vast, something that comes down to ultimately a preference, to understand how people reach conclusions of putting certain choices at certain points in a list. One of my nicknames for a while was, was known as Tier List Kyle. See, as someone with fairly strong opinions, I love setting people off with mine. But the difference between my lists and straight up trolling is that I'm not trolling. I literally gain nothing, it's all, just all my opinion. I'm like Kanye West, you know, some of the shit he says is not beneficial to him at all. And yet he still puts it out there, especially when all that shit in 2018 was going down and this motherfucker goes, I'm nice at ping pong on Twitter. My favorite genre of music is easily hip hop. One of the main genres where making lists is fairly common in the community. Comparison of artists is one of the main structures the genre was founded upon. People would beef and compare themselves to others, saying they're as good at or better than said compared artist. My main criteria for this list is simple, it's just what I feel should be where. I've obviously seen every series I have a song on the list from, uh, I'm not going to try to have multiple entries but unfortunately there are very few cases where I broke this rule. Um, as lists are, it's very possible my stance on each one of these songs could change but as of right now, these are my top 10 favorite songs from anime OSTs. Alright, alright, let's just get this list on, shall we? There are a few ties for each place. I'm sorry, there are too many good anime and too many good songs in each of these good anime series. Number 10 is the first tie, between Sasuke's theme and Confrontment from the original Naruto. Sasuke's theme is mysterious, like the character in the original series, but it's relaxing enough how he doesn't take much seriously at first, how he doubts Kakashi as a leader, how he doesn't see anyone as a rival except Naruto later on, and I think it's just a great theme from the original show. Confrontment is a theme that usually plays when characters are faced with a dilemma or working through a logic process. And in that regard, I think it's fairly similar to the many L's themes from Death Note, as those usually play for the very same scenarios. Number 9 is Wandering from Naruto Shippuden. Like Sasuke's theme, this one is mysterious and uncertain. It matches the perspective of the viewer who's also uncertain of what Sasuke's path will be, whether he falls victim to joining the Akatsuki or decides to help the village for the upcoming war. It shows a man who we lost contact with builds strength and power from the ground up. Number 8 is the opening, Tank, from Cowboy Bebop. I think it's a perfect opening to any anime, I don't care what you would put against it. To me this stands almost alone at the top, with Cruel Angel's thesis, Battle Cry, the Trigun theme, Grain, I don't care if you call me an old head, Cope Dummy. Uh, I think this opening embodies the spirit of Cowboy Bebop perfectly. It matches the futuristic yet antiquated feel the show goes for. Number 7 is a tie between World of Adventure and Requiem Arena from Hunter x Hunter. World of Adventure is one of the first themes we hear play during the show, and it keeps the viewer excited about the future episodes of the anime, especially on their first watch through, unaware of the absolute peak they're about to watch. Requiem Arena is a dark theme that fits the Phantom Troop excellently, and it's fantastic for the York New City arc when it plays, when the Phantom Troop shows up to the city it's just peak man. Number 6 is Shiki no Uta, the ending theme from Samurai Champloo. I'm a fairly big Nujabez fan, and the vocals from Minmi are great here. I think this is the best ending song there could have been chosen for Samurai Champloo. It matches the aesthetic, the vibe, and the style, which definitely coincides with the fact that Nujabez, Fat John, Suchi, and Force of Nature were all responsible for creating the entire soundtrack of the show. Number 5 is Grain, the opening from Monster. Monster is an incredibly dark and depressing show that at times makes you feel like you're also at rock bottom with Dr. Tenma as he tries to search for the serial killer Johan Liebert. All of the characters in the show appear during the opening and the opening has a little bit of everything that you're about to experience. Number 4 is Light's theme from Death Note. In my opinion, it's more sad than necessarily evil. It shows how someone with such talent and promise can be corrupted by power, greed, and motivation to change the world. The way the song builds throughout symbolizes light before the death note with his pursuit of justice, then what happens when he starts to use it, his feud with L, and then eventually being defeated by Nier and Mello. Number 3 is A Cruel Angel's Thesis from Neon Genesis Evangelion. This is the best opening to an anime ever. I cannot find any flaw with this song at all. I remember watching Evangelion for the first time and I wanted to skip this at first but I couldn't bring myself to. 
unlike Death Note or Code Geass or the millions of other Naruto openings that I skipped instantly. This one in Samurai Champloo had my attention from the onset. This doesn't exactly show you what to expect from what you're about to watch, but it shows all the relevant characters and lets the viewer interpret what could happen on their own, which is sometimes better than storytelling than even saying what's going to happen. Number two is Death Note from Death Note. Not the Death Note theme, just the track Death Note. This one builds up similar to Light's theme, starting small, gaining volume, and around the middle of the song spirals out of control into a frenzy. But it's a comforting kind of frenzy. I don't know how to explain, but this is just a perfect song in my opinion, and never gets stale. And that scene when Soichiro Yagami steps out of the TV station and there are walls of police to protect him from the second Kira, oh my god. Before I get to what I picked as number one, let's get into the honorable mentions, shall we? L's theme A, L's wall. Both L's themes are perfect for any kind of deduction, thinking, or studying, better than lo-fi hip-hop and all that bullshit. I feel like I'm following a train of logic and critically thinking to the best of my ability when these are playing. Nier's theme is a little less deductive and has more action in my opinion. Uh, the way the guitar and synths clash, but the guitar never overtakes the synth, shows how much Nier has looked into light and figured out and planned to defeat him, even if he had to cheat to do so. Battle Cry. Battlecry is once again a great opener that shows everything Samurai Champloo is about, the characters and even the soundtrack, which is a perfect match for the show, putting hip-hop and samurai in the same realm without making it awkward. Uh, the Zoldic theme. The Zoldic theme is like Prokofiev's Dance of the Knights. It's ominous and makes you wonder if they're the bad guys, but Hunter x Hunter plays with a stacked deck, and to an extent no one in the show is a bad guy. All the characters have motivations, and the Zoldics are a family of assassins with notoriety. Behelit. Behelit is a perfect theme to counteract Gut's theme, as a theme from one of the main characters of Berserk, and throughout the show we see it used to show Griffith as mysterious, then as Gut's friend, and then as Griffith starts to act on something that would lead to the eclipse, the song plays. Oh, and speaking of Guts. Number one. This was a long time coming, and honestly I was torn whether it would be this or Death Note for number one but I ultimately chose to use this for my number one since I prefer it. It's Guts' theme from Berserk. Guts is a character who struggles to survive against fate and destiny during the Golden Age arc. Guts is a character who struggles to survive against fate and destiny. During the Golden Age arc in the 97 adaptation, we see him constantly put himself in danger during fights, getting injured, and even once the Band of the Hawk is sacrificed, he still puts himself in grave danger to fight against the Apostles and the God Hand. He fights day in, day out, rarely ever getting sleep because at nighttime demons come for him, since he has the brand of sacrifice, but even with all this weight he has to bear on his shoulders, he doesn't give up and he keeps struggling. Truly a message to live by, to never give up. Kinda like Naruto, but actually based. That's all I got honestly for my top 10 anime songs. Uh, if you disagree, just remember that at the end of the day it's all subjective. We each perceive music differently as it interacts with our environment. And also, this is just my opinion. Make your own list if you want, I don't care. Anyway, thanks for watching.